So in this video, I want to address the fourth um, category of p3 target genes. In the previous video, we talked about uh, p3 turning on genes involved in cell cycle arrest, DNA repair, and apoptosis. Now I want to talk about the uh, genes that control the feedback regulation of p53. So let's go back and recall how p53 is regulated, one of the ways. It's regulated many different ways, but we're going to talk about the way that p53 is regulated by MDM2. So MDM2 is a E3 ubiquitin ligase, and MDM2 can, MDM2 can bind p53 under conditions of no stress, and this is how normal cells are. Normal cells make p53, MDM2 will bind it, MDM2 will conjugate um, ubiquitins to uh, lysines in p53. p53 is now polyubiquitinated and it is destroyed. Now let's say the cell is under some stressful event, right? Um, DNA damage, for example. So we covered in previous videos how p53 and MDM2 no longer interact under these st stressful conditions, and then that allows p53 levels to rise because instead of being destroyed constantly by MDM2, meaning p53 has a short half-life, its levels are very low in cells that don't have stress, p53 protein levels begin to rise when cells are under these stressful conditions. MDM2 and p53 are no longer interacting, so instead of p53 being made and destroyed, it's being made, its levels are rising, it is being allowed to go into the nucleus and turn on genes, such as those that arrest the cell cycle, and those that are involved in DNA repair, which we covered in previous videos. So let's say that the cell has uh, gone, undergone some stressful event, like DNA damage. MDM2 levels, MDM2 didn't interact with P3 anymore, as we covered saw in a previous video. P3 was able to turn on these genes, and let's say the repairs have occurred. Great. How, how do we go back to the cell cycle? We do want to turn off P3 somehow. Well, remember, P53 is regulated by MDM2. So p53 will actually turn on the MDM2 gene, right? So this is actually really weird to think about. p53 can actually turn on the gene that makes its own destroyer. MDM2 is this ubiquitin ligase that will destroy p53. So um, this feedback loop, p53 levels will rise, will turn on cell cycle arrest genes, will turn on DNA repair genes, and then p53 will turn on MDM2. And now MDM2 levels will start to rise. And if MDM2 levels start to rise, then it is possible that MDM2 will now be able to bind P53, especially when we go back to conditions of no stress. So let's say the DNA has been re repaired and now the stressful situation is gone. We need to get rid of all that P53. And the way that the cell gets rid of P53 is by increasing the production of MDM2 and P53 itself does that. So now MDM2 levels have risen and the stress has gone away. So MDM2 interacts with P53 and starts to ubiquitinate them. I'm not going to draw all ubiquitins on all of them. But suffice it to say, now P53 levels will drop. So when there was no stress, the levels of P3 were low. Under the stressful um, event, P3 levels rise because... MDM2 is no longer destroying P53, and P3 will go into the nucleus and perform its transactivation function. And then, if the repairs are complete, MDM2 levels will rise, destroy the P53, and P53 levels will go back to normal. So this is known as an autoregulatory feedback loop. So P MDM2 regulates P53, P53 regulates MDM2. There are definitely other proteins that are involved here, especially things that are phosphorylating P53 and phosphorylating MDM2. I have left those out of this video, but I just want to focus on the fact that when P53 is active and stable, it can turn on MDM2, which will come back and just can destroy P53. So this is how um, P53 levels can be regulated in the cell. Um, of course, if the cell cannot be uh, salvaged, those proapitotic genes will be activated and destroy the cell. But if the cell can be salvaged, if the problem can be addressed, 
you want to go back into this uh, cell cycle under the no stressful event. So the way to turn off these p53 target genes is to destroy the p53. So we want to turn now that we have no stress, we want to turn off the cell cycle arrest genes. We want to turn off the DNA repair genes. We want to not turn on the apoptotic genes. So the way this occurs is the p53 will bind the promoter of MDM2, turn on the MDM2 gene producing MDM2 protein, which will then uh, reestablish the destruction of p53. So that is how p53 is regulated by MDM2 and how MDM2 regulates p53.